Hi everybody and welcome back to some more Valentino Rossi the game MotoGP 16 here in this channel and in today's episode we've got the voting result to what team we're going to take into the MotoGP series but before I get into that I just want to say guys I'm sorry that I took a bit of time to get to some of your messages that you left in the comments um, I've been on holiday for the last week or so so a lot of the videos were already um, uploaded and scheduled so um, that's why I was a bit behind on getting back to you with your messages but uh, thanks to all that voted for the GP series now this is going to be a really good series I hope we're going to at least get in the top three at the end of this championship I'm not sure whether I'm going to be able to win it but we will do a second series on the GP bikes because um, I think it is going to be very challenging I think uh, there's going to be loads of teams that obviously with the votes that everyone wants me to try so we're going to try and do our best so let's get into the voting results now I, I unlocked a pretty much uh, all the teams to choose and I said it would probably be best to go for one of the top teams and I cannot believe how many of you have voted and a lot of you at least 70% of you were voting for the same team so and the winner is Ducati so I'm going to be riding alongside Andre Divizioso and Ian Oni so that's the team we're going with so let's select that great choice it seems like the ideal team for you right now Right, so let's get into changing some of our gear as well. Right, we're going to just jump in and change the crash helmet and gloves and all that uh, before we start our first race in this new GP series. Um, also, guys, um, if your vote wasn't chosen today, don't worry, because every three races you have to change... Well, you get the, the opportunity to change your team, so there's going to be plenty of opportunity for me to change teams throughout this series. So hopefully your uh, vote that you did vote for will get chosen at some point over the series. There's plenty of teams to try. So let's just quickly change the crash helmet and uh, the gloves and that. Also, guys, um, we've got a set of Corsa coming up next week on the channel. So there's going to be loads coming from that. We're going to do a full career series on that as well, alongside this one and all the other series that we've got running on the channel. So I'm going to be super busy uh, towards the end of next week. Plus, we've got a ride to come into the channel in October. Now, I've pre-ordered it with all the extra packs. I think there's got something like 20 circuits. They've got weather conditions on this version. I cannot wait for that i hope that uh, that's a game that you're looking forward to seeing so that's uh just change a few more things let's change the gloves and the boots as well um but yeah i've, I've really enjoyed uh valentino rossi the game um a lot of people were worried um it, was it going to be better than moto gp 15 and now i've done two series on the game i'm absolutely loving it i do like it so a lot of the changes i have made are, are going in the right direction and uh, yeah, let's hope they keep improving this over the next couple of years. But uh, let's get straight into this GP series. Um, Qatar is a very difficult circuit for me. And plus, we're going to be using a full weekend. So there's going to be two uh, qualifying sessions as well, which is going to make it tough. Right, so let's uh, get straight into uh, the start of this new series. But um, yeah, you've got to press it. Yeah, so we've got to select that. New, let's go to the next season. But uh, yeah, it's going to make it interesting because I think uh, with the uh, full weekend, you've got to do two qualifying sessions, which are less time as well. So there's not going to be as much time for me to alter the bike. It's going to make it a lot harder. I'm not always going to be able to keep, compete in the second qualifying series because you have to win the first one. But I'm going to try my best. Let's just check the emails and see what they expect. So with this Ducati team, they're expecting at least 15th place. Hopefully I can get that. But let's get straight into it, guys. This is going to be really good. Right, so here we go with a guitar. Tough first uh, race of the season, but we're going to get straight into it. Into that first qualifying session. Hopefully we can do well and get to the second qualifying session. And hopefully we can get a decent result in this first race. So let's get straight into it, guys. So here we go. Right, so here we go on our third lap. Now, we haven't made any alterations to the bike yet. Um, um, it's not handling too bad. I'm struggling on the braking because this bike is so much quicker than the Moto2 bike from the previous, previous series. So we've put on the driver line just on the corners just for this race. This is, this is a circuit I do struggle on anyway. So hopefully it can help us a bit just to get uh, in the swing of things. But this Ducati oh, is a, it's an absolute beast. So this is going to be really hard to control around the corners and uh, accelerate out of the slow corners and that. So I'm expecting this to be really, really tough in today's race. But so I'm hoping to at least get to that second session so I can at least get in the top 10. That's what we're going to aim for. Our team's only expecting 15th. But if we can at least get 10th, 
uh, in this race. I'd be quite happy with that. And that's not a bad time at the first uh, split time. Uh, we've got that red marker there, so we were the fastest at that. But um, this time's not going to be anywhere as quick as what uh, probably Rossi, Marquez and Lorenzo are going to set in the second session. So we're going to just try and get to that session and just see what we can do. There's less uh, riders in this series. Um, I mean, there's 30 odd in the Moto2, but I think there's only 22 in this series. So there's going to be less riders and it's going to be a little bit more competitive. And I'm not going to be able to make as many mistakes, really struggle into that corner, but we're still holding a decent time in this first qualifying session. So hopefully we can finish it. And it's really hard to get really tight into the corners. I'm, I think I might make a slight adjustment uh, for the second session if I can make it. It's just on the, uh, it's just understeering slightly. Um, in the entrance into the corners I just need to get tighter so I can get a better speed around there and probably hold my own oh dear almost lost in that corner and, oh damn we did we lost a bit of time and uh, we're only just running a slightly quicker but we've got to try and hold it here can we get to the end and get into that second session that'd be awesome if we could now let's try and slow it down into this section here slow it down last corner oh god went a bit wide there to turn it in and accelerate I'm not sure whether I've lost a, a little bit of time in that last section. Hopefully I can get into that second session. Coming to the line, almost 200 miles an hour. Yes, we've done it. That might be good enough to get us into the second session. That's just for the time on. Fingers crossed, guys. I think we should, that should do it. That was not a bad lap for my third lap as well. Just getting used to the, uh, the Ducati. And yes, we did it, guys. So it looks like we're going to make it into the second session of uh, qualifying. Hopefully, we can improve. Um, but it's going to be a lot harder. The times are going to be a lot quicker. So let's get straight into that session. And we're just going to make a couple of adjustments as well. So let's get straight into it, guys. And uh, fingers crossed. Seriously, guys, this is tough. I cannot get anywhere near that time at the moment. Marquez is set at 152.794. And uh, I'm always, uh, once I get to the last corner, about a second and a half behind. So we're going to go one more lap and hopefully go improve that time. But we've got just over five minutes to go. I have crashed out a couple of times. Just uh, made contact with a few other riders in this session. But uh, this session's a lot harder. Uh, so um, to get to anywhere near Mar Marquez uh, is going to be a real, real battle. But we're going to give it our best. We've been quite quick at the first bit point. Only just, as you can see, we were like almost half a second quicker at that point in the first uh, qualifying session. Oh, God, just cut across the, the curb there. But I didn't get a penalty, so that's all right. Let's just carry on. Trying to get nice and tight into the apex of each corner and just trying to get a nice speed. I mean, I've had to, I've made an adjustment to, because it was slightly understeering uh, into the corners and that still hasn't really improved. But I think it's because I'm carrying so much more speed and that's not bad. Oh my God, we're actually quick at the second split time uh, for the first time in this session. Let's see if we can get to the third one. Oh God, went in there a little bit hot. So had to slam the brakes on. But uh, oh God, a little bit of... Uh, a moment there as we tried to tap out but uh, this bike has got so much speed um, and acceleration uh, from the, out the low corners so you've got to be so careful I've got to be a little bit uh, clever on the braking and the accelerating on this series but it'll take us time and we just lost time at that third split point but we got nice and tight into the apex there that is one corner I have been struggling on right try and get it nice and tight into this corner get a nice pace around there and accelerate oh this is going to be good guys I think this is going to get us at least top top 10 we might uh, get at least i think maybe seven for eight for this time and accelerate all oh, this feels good please hopefully i didn't lose too much time on that last section there coming to the line oh this is going to be close guys oh god we got fourth that's miles better than what i was expecting right so let's board it on and see if that holds there that would be awesome if it does second row of the grid in our first championship race in this series. So we've got Valentino Rossi ahead of us. Oh, uh, he's just gone ahead of Lorenzo. So we take fourth, guys. That is unbelievable. So Mark Marquez is leading the line in guitar. And look at that time he set. That's an unbelievable pace. And now, if the race is quicker than qualifying, I'm going to struggle. But let's get straight into it, guys. Fingers crossed. So let's get straight into it. Good evening from the LaSalle circuit. The long wait is finally over and the new World Championship season is about to begin. The bikes and riders are almost ready to take to the track. The MotoGP Grand Prix of Qatar 
will start in a few minutes. Once again, as we're used to at this track, we're looking forward to good weather for the Grand Prix and the temperatures shouldn't cause any tyre problems. Riders have all lined up on the starting grid. We are mere seconds away from the start of what promises to be a sensational Grand Prix. Right, guys, so here we go with the first championship race of this GP series. And look at that, the row of decays behind the other three on the second row. Awesome. And that's not a bad start there. Can I go through the middle here? Yes, I managed to get past Rossi. Can I take Marquez in this first corner? Got to take it nice and gentle. Slow it down. Don't lose the back end. Oh, God, that was a little bit tight. I think they're going to get up the inside. Rossi's trying to get back at me there. But I managed to hold it. And I'm leading the Grand Prix here in Qatar in the first couple of corners. But it's not going to stay like that. I really did struggle compared to the sort of times they were setting in qualifying. But I've got to try and hold it as long as I can and stick with them. So that's it. If we get nice and tight in the third corner. Looking down. Oh, Lorenzo's the rider that's behind me oh god Lorenzo just cut across the front of me but I've managed to get past him all bit of contact there a little bit of a battle blow already in this race but let's see if we can just hold it for a little bit longer oh god dear when it went really wide into that corner but it managed to stop it and still hold the position oh my god that was lucky right let's see if we can get a nice uh, gentle speed around this corner try and hold it and accelerate i've got to be really clever on the brakes and try and hold my position and it's still lorenzo that's just behind us so it looks like it's a yamaha that's going to be really challenging uh, us in that race and uh, lorenzo just made contact with my back wheel there and just sent us out uh Oh god, and again, he's really aggressive here at the start. I've got to be clever and try not to overdo it. So I don't want to try and get in a position where he's going to knock me off. And he's trying to take the inside line. I'll try and tuck in really tight as well. Oh my god, I've got loads of riders behind us. And it's that uh, Mavericks trying to get past me as well. Bloody hell, Mavericks going around the outside. And so Maverick uh, Vinales takes the lead. And he is leading the race. But let's see if we can get back at him in the, in the next corner. Now, he wasn't one of the fastest in qualifying. What a race that he's having. Hopefully, we can stick with him. Let's just try and get in his slipstream. Oh, God, I've got to... Is that... Um, Marquez is just going up the inside. Oh, God, I thought that was a Ducati that was coming. And then Marquez came from nowhere. But let's just try and get in his slipstream. Try and hold it there. See if we can get a good run into that first corner again. And over the finish line. Right, let's see if we can try and get a decent speed into this next corner slow it down slow it down oh god onto the curb no no i've cut the corner slightly but that was lucky i didn't get a penalty but i couldn't slow it down but i uh, managed just to hold it can i get in the lead here it's still maverick that's leading this grand prix and i've lost the last speed into that corner i'm onto the grass oh damn i've got a penalty oh god but it's only a point two penalty i'm just gonna have to carry on and hope that won't cost me at the end of the race but uh, we're still sitting in p2 trying to just keep up with Maverick that's leading the race and I've got I think a couple of Ducati sitting behind me so my teammates are trying to force me into a mistake oh god I took a chance there and I'm back into the lead in this Grand Prix um, in Qatar can I hold on to it though guys this is the problem right let's just try and take a nice line into this next corner right onto the curb again almost onto the grass really trying to hold that speed we don't want to get another penalty so we're gonna to have to be really careful we don't make any mistakes oh god just got a kick at the back there and we're still leading this is such a frantic race so many riders right behind me i cannot make a single mistake otherwise i could literally lose about 10 places in one corner i've got to be so clever Let's see if we can get to the final lap in this position. Just hope for the best. Right, slow it down. Oh, God, lost a bit of speed. I have to slam the brakes in. Oh, and Maverick's taking, uh, taking me in that corner. I was expecting that. And I've got uh, Marquez and uh, I think that's Davizioso behind me. So I've got a Ducati and a Honda right on my tail. I'm not sure where Rossi's disappeared to. He hasn't had a bad race. Uh, I mean, he's had a bad race it's so far in this first championship. I think he's lost a few places. But let's see if we can just concentrate on this last corner or oh, coming into the final lap 
And we lost another place. Marquez took a nice tight line through there and I've dropped down to P3, but we can get a bit of slipstream on this home straight and hopefully go into that first corner and take him again. Yes, we get past him. Oh my God, look at the speed. We're almost traveling almost to 213 miles an hour. Slow it down into that corner, right tight onto the curb. What a corner there. That has really done me well, but I really had to break there to try and slow it down to get the right position for the next corner. And we're still sitting in P2, but there's so many riders behind me trying to back out and get past and I've got to hold firm. Can we really finish in second place in this race and get an awesome points in this first championship race? But uh, we still got a lot of work to do and we lost a bit of speed in that corner. And uh, Lorenzo and Marquez came on. Marquez came on the circuit and he's taking Lorenzo out. So Marquez and Lorenzo have a ma massive crash and they've both gone off. Oh my God, can you believe it? I think Marquez just lost it in that corner, came swinging back onto circuit and took Lorenzo out. I cannot believe that, but Rossi and Davizioso are trying to take me here. I'm trying to hold on to this position, but it's not easy. I cannot believe that crash that's happened. It has cost me a bit of time because a lot more riders have caught up and it looks like Maverick's going to finish this race and get his first championship uh, win of the season and get to maximum points. But I'm going to try and finish in second if I can. But it, that uh, penalty might cost me, but... Uh, no, Davizioso and Rossi get a nice line through that. And Ian Oni's taking me. So both my teammates have managed to get past me. Can I get back at Ian Oni? Yes, I managed to get past back uh, into that corner. But can I hold on to it? Oh, my God. There's so many riders nipping at my back wheel, making contact. I cannot believe how I've managed to stay on this bike. But I'm still in the fight. So we're in fifth position going into the last couple of corners. But uh, I'll take that, guys. I said I'll take 10th. And, and we're in fifth, so if we can finish in that position, that would be awesome. And hopefully that penalty won't cost me. So we're going to the final corners. Can we hold it here? Oh, my God. Right, the final straight. Can I hold it? I'm sitting in fifth, but we need to get a decent gap to over the over the finish line otherwise that penalty is going to cost I don't think I've got the speed but there you go guys over the finish line I think that may cost me a couple of places we finished in fifth what an awesome race the first race of this season oh god that was gripping I cannot believe that Yes, I did lose a couple of places, so I lost uh, two places and dropped down to seven. But that still was an awesome race. And look at the time that Maverick Vinales put in. He deserved that win. He was awesome. I don't know what he was doing in qualifying because he was nowhere near that. But he did uh, what he needed to do in the race. And there you go, guys. Our first race this season. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And I will see you soon for the next race, which is Argentina, I think, very soon. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And bye-bye.